Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today I've got here Windows and Mac OS, but to share with you the experience that I'm having with the Hitpo Video Converter, which as the name states, is a video converter, but it does a lot more. And for example, it does download videos from TikTok without watermark and a few more options. I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check out the website. And at this moment, they are running a promo on the back to school. So you will find their giveaways and so on and so forth. There's also a coupon code that I'll put on the link down below. But at this moment, probably the back to school promo is better than the one that it's on the link. So just check that out. Now, let's start with the features that Hitpo Video Converter has, which some of them are really interesting. In terms of video conversion and audio conversion, I was curious to see how many formats and I didn't count. But if they don't have all of them, because I don't know all, they have most. There are literally hundreds of formats right over there. I did try the ones that I use most, MKV, MP4, FLV, MOV and MP3. So all of these worked great. We can select the output file that we want. So we can convert MP4 to MOV or any other format that I need. Besides that, we can change the resolution that we want and we will have approximate the file size of the file that will be output. So the experience here was really awesome and this is the main function of the software. In terms of the conversion, I was curious to see how much time it would take to render. Just one file of four gigabytes, just to check out one of the videos that I do record right over here, like this one at 4K, and it was really fast, even using this laptop, which has an i5 uh, mobile CPU, and it also has an integrated GPU. But the software takes advantage of even that low specification hardware, and it does a great job. Of course, I did not test with my M1 Pro right over here, but it would be even faster so we can put on more demanding tasks. And if we use a desktop with a more beefier GPU and CPU, it will be even faster. But I'm really happy with the results that the laptop got. Now, one thing that I was searching to see if it would do on any preset was to do some kind of compression. So if I have a four gigabyte file and I would want to turn on a 500 megabytes and there is no preset that I could see, but if we edit one of those presets, then we can change the bitrate, for example, and we can lower the resolution or maintain the res resolution and we will have a smaller file size. So this was a interesting feature that I was looking for and it's right over here. The second tab is the download tab and probably this one is a little bit more interesting because nowadays people tend to download content from the web and then do some memes and gifs and things like that. I did test it out on my YouTube channel. I also tested it on a random channel on TikTok and it did download the video without any issues whatsoever but the curious thing was that it did download without the TikTok watermark. One of the things that I usually see on Facebook and on Instagram is videos from TikTok with the watermark and right over here, uh, Hit Power Video Converter was able to download it without the watermark whatsoever. So that was really, really awesome. I also tried on Instagram on my account and it was able to download one of the videos that I selected. So the quality remains and it's great. So if we want to keep the video or if we want to adjust and then upload to TikTok or to Instagram or something like that. So basically any social platform, we will be able to download our own videos or download other videos, but use them accordingly without messing up the copyright issues and so on and so forth. Now, it also has one thing that I did not try out and I did not try because although I'm a Mac and iOS user, I don't use Apple Music, but uh, as far as all the tests uh, that I did worked well, I do believe that if this is a function that you require, it will work as well. There is another tab which is really interesting, which is the editor. So if you're looking for a really simple way to edit your clips, uh, this will be just fine. It's really simple. We can, for example, select the clip and then uh, do some cuts. And on that particular clip, I even selected to leave only two smaller clips 
and render them individually. And this was really, really fun to do. Usually on more sophisticated editing tools, it takes a little bit more and it's not as intuitive as here. And this is one of the functions that I do on a daily basis right over here on this channel and on the Portuguese channel, besides all the other video works that I do. So here was really intuitive and really, really enjoyed. Besides that, we can also apply some filters. We can do watermarks with our logo and so on and so forth and a few more tools. Lastly, we have one tab which is available on Windows, but it's not available on Mac, which is called the Toolkit. And the Toolkit has three functions. The first function is to create a GIF from a part of a video that we want. So if I download a video from my Instagram account and I want to create a meme or something like that, this was one of the easiest ways that I've seen until today. Worked really, really awesome. It can also convert images like a JPEG to PNG or something like that. And finally, it has a really interesting feature, but I did not get it to work 100%, which is the uh, Instagram account scraping. I'm not really sure if it's just the name, but it promises to download stories and uh, Instagram profiles and things like that. And I was interested to see and download my own stories, but the only thing that I was able was my profile picture. So I have to check out if I need to change some settings, but this is a feature that I'm interesting to dig a little bit more. That being said, hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that you guys leave a thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.